Francois Gautier born 1950, is a French political writer and journalist based in India, since 1971. He has served as the «South Asian» correspondent for the French-language newspaper Le Figaro. Gautier is the founder of the Foundation for Advancement of Cultural Ties Fact, an NGO dedicated to Indian history. He is also the founder of the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Museum of Indian History in Pune which is a private museum that houses exhibits on Indian history. Life <laughs> <laughs> Early life François Gautier was born in 1950 in Paris. He was given an upper-class Catholic education. Gautier has said he had problems fitting in and he was expelled from several European boarding schools he was sent to. He attended IDRAC Business School in Paris before dropping out to become a writer. He worked in a small newspaper before it was shut down. He then wrote a film script for a friend, but the film was not released. Gautier came to India at the age of 19 in 1969. He was part of the first wave which came to establish the city of Oroville. He initially did not intend to stay in India for long and intended to travel the world. However, he met Mira Alfasa and was influenced by her. He spent seven years in the Sri Aurobindo Ashram, Pondicherry, after that. <laughs> Personal life François Gautier is married to Namrita Bindra Gautier, whose mother was a Hindu and father a Sikh. Gautier primarily resides in Oroville in India, and visits his family in France annually. Career Journalism <career> 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 In India, he stopped writing for a while and focused on other activities like meditation and gardening. In 1982, he found an article in a French newspaper, which he considered to be full of clichés. He wrote a letter to the editor suggesting corrections. The editor replied back asking him to write an article. He wrote several more articles for the newspaper. Later, he worked as a writer and photographer for various publications. He then worked for Journal de Genève, a Geneva-based newspaper. Then he switched to Le Figaro in mid-90s and began to write for them exclusively. Gautier used to write a regular column for Rediff.com. Gautier's has also written columns for the New Indian Express, DNA India, Outlook India, and others. Gautier is also the editor of La Revue de l'Inde. Writing Gautier became interested in Indology when he began to travel outside Oroville. Sita Ram Goal contacted Gautier after reading some of his articles in a magazine called Blitz. Goal asked for permission to reprint the articles in a book. Gautier instead wrote the book The Wonder That Is India. Later, the website Hinduism Today republished it online. Following this, Gautier wrote several other books. Gautier has worked on a book about the martial art Kalaripayattu of South India with photographer Raghu Rai. In 2010, an anonymously authored novel titled Hindutva, Sex and Adventure featuring a foreign radio journalist who came to India and became a Hindutva sympathizer, was released. The book's protagonist was considered a thinly veiled parody of BBC reporter Mark Tully. Initially, it was speculated that Gautier may have been the author, but Gautier denied the allegation. Topic: Photography and painting exhibitions. Gautier's Fact organizes photography and painting exhibitions highlighting various issues related to terrorism. The organization's aim is to education people on terrorism and how it affects people living in the region. In 2003, Gautier started a photograph exhibition titled Terror Unleashed, an exhibition on Kashmir. It contained photographs highlighting the plight of Kashmiri pandits. The exhibition also contains statistics on terrorist attacks on Kashmiris. Gautier has produced a photo exhibition titled A Glimpse of a Tragedy Without an End, covering the plight of the Kashmiri Pandits since 1990. 
It has been displayed in various places around the world, including Houston in 2005. In 2007, Gautier started a painting exhibition called Aurangzeb, as he was, according to Mughal records. Using the organization fact, Gautier aims to display the exhibition at several places around the world. In 2012, the Shivaji Maharaj Museum of Indian History and a temple dedicated to Bhavani Bharat, both established by Gautier's fact organization, were inaugurated by Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, Ajit Pawar, and Nitin Gudkari. In 2013, during the visit of the 14th Dalai Lama, Gautier and his wife organized an exhibition on the origin of Buddhism in India and its spread to Tibet at the Chhatrapati Shivaji. Maharaj Museum of Indian History, Lohagaon, with the help of materials from the Tibet Museum of Dharamsala. The aim of the exhibition was to educate the local people about Tibetan culture. Views and opinions On Indian history Gautier has criticized the various books dedicated to representation of Indian history such as, The Wonder That Was India by Arthur Llewellyn Basham. He questioned the claims of the book regarding language, culture, and society, and said that the book led to later claims of Hindu imperialism. He has also criticized Aurangzeb for his atrocities. Gautier is a supporter of Konrad Elst. He considers Elst one of the most knowledgeable scholars on India. Gautier has stated that Elst, as an outsider, sees aspects of India which Indians cannot see themselves due to their suffering under two centuries of colonialism. On Indian politics Gautier has criticised Gandhi's policy towards Muslim separatists during the partition of India, describing it as appeasement. He has also criticized Nehru's policy of pacifism towards China. Gautier has criticized the United Progressive Alliance government in 2012. He specifically criticized the lack of an effective response by that government in view of continued terrorist attacks on India. He had claimed that the Muslim mullahs were allowed to preach freely, whereas Hindu gurus were being targeted by the media and police. He had criticized the government's attempt to have a census of Muslims in the Indian military and attempt to repeal the Armed Forces Special Powers Act 1958 in 2011. Gautier attributed Anna Hazare's success in drawing a large number of supporters in his anti-corruption campaign partly to Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. Gautier observed that Sri Sri Ravi Shankar had supported the Jan Lokpal bill and had promoted it through his Art of Living network. On Indian journalism Gautier has said that Indian journalists have a negative view of India and are not proud of their culture. He has criticized the media's usage of the term, Godman, to describe Hindu gurus. Gautier has backed Sri Sri Centre for Media Studies, a journalism school in Bangalore, to rectify this situation. Gautier also teaches at the institution. On religion Gautier is a strong supporter of Hindutva. Gautier has stated that ancient wisdom regarding questions addressing the meaning of life, afterlife, karma and dharma have been preserved in Hinduism. Gautier believes Hinduism is under threat from Islam, Christian missionaries, Marxism and westernization Gautier has written that the Buddhist philosophy of Ahimsa weakened India and made it vulnerable to the attacks of Alexander and other later invaders. Awards 2003 Panchanya's Nashikita Awards, the Bipin Chandra Pal Award, named after the historical figure Bipin Chandra Pal, was given to Gautier. He donated the money to fact. Bibliography The Wonder That Is India Voice of India, 1994. ISBN 978-81-85990-17-0 Rewriting Indian History. Vikas Publishing House, 1996. ISBN 978-0-7069-9976-1 Un autre regard sur l'Inde in French. 
TRICORNE, 2000. ISBN 978-2-8293-0215-2. Arise Again, O India. Har Anand Publications, 2000. ISBN 978-81-241-0518-4. A Western Journalist on India, The Ferengi's Columns. Har Anand Publications, 2001. ISBN 978-81-241-0795-9. India's Self-Denial. Oroville Press International, 2001. ISBN 978-81-87373-12-4. A New History of India. Har Anand Publications, 2008. ISBN 978-81-241-1430-8. The Guru of Joy. Hay House, Inc. 2008. ISBN 978-1-4019-2140-8. A History of India as it Happened, Not as it Has Been Written. Har Anand Publications, 2013. ISBN 978-81-241-1762-0. See also David Frawley Yvette Rosser <laughs>